we decided we was gonna give y'all an official tour. I don't think we've done an official, official tour of the entire farm. <laughs> What is going on, Cog Squad? Well, today we decided we was gonna give y'all an official tour. I don't think we've done an official, official tour of the entire farm. I don't think so either. I feel like we're going on a safari. It's like we're going on a safari. Yeah. I don't know that I'll make a good narrator, but I'll do my best. You'll make a great narrator. I think narrator. between all three of us, we can, so. we can get this covered. I think so. But we were going to give y'all a, a tour. We've done, you know, bits and pieces here and there. We'll give you an update because things have changed since we bought the farm. That's right. And give everybody a tour of the entire property and our plans in certain areas and things we don't know what we're going to do in certain areas. And But uh, we figured we'd bring you guys along with us. Well, we have just entered the Cog Kill 40. That is right. And so we're going to take y'all from the beginning as to what you see when you enter the property. Yep. And we'll explain what everything is, where everything is, what we want where. And first off is right behind uh, Brooke here is where we got our two pigs. Yes, our tilling pigs. Our tilling pigs. And this is gonna be our garden, our main, or I say our main garden, our soon to be hopefully a flower garden and a garden area that we hope to plant things that we couldn't plant at Little Cog. That's right like watermelons and uh, peas. peas and sweet potatoes and you know just stuff like that you know we, we couldn't really Making grow those water. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't grow those at the little cock because we didn't have enough room to grow those types of things and you know we, we've said it a lot that we hope to have a flower farm in itself where we actually sell flowers to some businesses in the area and hope that all works out but that's what this area here is is right when you come in is the flower farm and garden area which also is where we just put the compost system where moody is and that's where we got our greenhouses set up but they may not go exactly there but i think they're going to go in that area well the pigs have done a good job yes we've actually expanded their area so they can continue their tilling we want the flowers to be visible from the roadside right and that's one reason we decided to put the the flower in the garden area towards the front of the property besides that the soil was good here. the soil was good there from our soil test and it was the least acidic area than the rest of it but it still was acidic and we just recently put lime down to offset that but yeah this is uh we got big plants here you know we talked about blueberries we talked about blackberries you know stuff that we really couldn't grow well we could do cog. one or two of them but not enough to to create a right. crop that we could actually freeze dry right. or you know harvest for future um so that'll be that'll be great to be able to have the space to yeah. do more of what we want to do and you've recently put in your water lines to supply correct irrigation or however you plan to water your area and also you've um, supplied power so that way if you want to get seed started in your greenhouse yes. and you needed heat for your heat match you could do that and we have talked about not being able to access the flower garden because we made a simple mistake when we were putting the property together and we put the gate which this was the only area fenced in at the time yep we put the gate to where it's accessed in the goat area and moody area but we have a gate sitting here that we have um, have not had time to install. But. That we are fixing to install. We are fixing and installing. Hopefully it. this week or so, first of next week. Moving on. Moving on. Hold tight. <laughs> Now this is the area that most all you guys know of is this spot here from here all the way down there. This is what's always in almost all our videos and uh, Moo Man may come over here and tell y'all about it. But of course this is the animal paddocks that we got set up. Uh, this was, I wouldn't say it was unplanned, but this was kind of a decision that was made quickly, but I think it was a good decision to put the animals here. This has worked out really, really well for everybody. These are really large paddocks compared to what we had at the 40 by all means. Uh, and with room for expansion. Uh, we've talked.
talked about possibly or I think we will put Moody over there on that big big pasture with some buddies uh, probably tip you know we've talked about maybe getting a miniature cow or a donkey or a mini donkey or who knows to go over there too and yes he will still be able to be loved on oh, yeah. just as he is now right. it's um the reason we put our animals on this side of the property is because this is where our house will be yes and we wanted to be able to access them easily and anywhere we put them we'll be able to physically see them from our house and get to them easily so and it was the best place for utilities on this yes, side for, for the animals water and power and talking about you know putting moody back there we hopefully to put a barn on that back side we'll uh, show you when we get around yeah we we'll get around side. there and licking his salt lick. I see that. I saw him the other day. They were licking the ones that uh, the, our fans bought us. The Himalayan yep. salt block. Yep, the girl goats were too. Look at them. <laughs> Moody's. <Good stuff. laughs> Don't get in my grill, man. Don't get in my grill. And of course, we got four paddocks here, as you guys know. This is the boy goats and moo man. And then over here, we got the alarm system, which are our geese. Uh, we got ducks over here, and we got the sheriff, Mr. Nuggo, right here. What's up, sheriff? Can you give me a high five today, doing a tour? That's what I'm talking about. And as we go down, this is paddock number two. Paddock number three is housing the girl goats, which are conked out right now, as you can see. they relaxing in this sunshine it's a beautiful day and of course we got the farm boss peaches she lives in here along with uh, a trio of sea bright chickens who have called this area their home for whatever reason and for paddock number four we have the chicken paddock and this houses the peacocks right now all of our chickens and of course Mary Carl's special chickens in that coop and the pigeons over there in the purple pigeon palace okay so we are at the last paddock which is where the chickens are housed mm -hmm. and you can see straight ahead is where our house site is this was a uh, huge decision at the time we didn't know where we wanted to put it uh, but we ended up putting it right here which is not directly in front of the animals but kind of close to the animals so we can see the animals out the front uh, over here we'll get over there in a minute but that's where our pond's gonna go and over here will be our fruit orchard let's drive down to the house site and show everybody what it looks like okay. from the house site facing that way gotcha. now we are standing at the house site looking back at the animal paddock over there and we're, we're gonna we are going to start planting trees around here I know if a lot of people have been asking about trees but we're all gonna plant shade trees we plan to make this chicken coop area to look not like a pasture is, yeah. is what we plan to do so yeah we do plan to fix that up at some point now the yellow school bus chicken coop or the chicken bus is going to leave and go out into our main pasture and we'll show y'all that main pasture here in a little bit so it will no longer be in there uh, we got a, a pole set which will be a temporary pole the power guy the power company came in got their marker set where they're going to put a power pole to feed the house now now this over here this is going to be a fruit orchard that's our plans with this area here is uh that was something that was uh not an initially planned out but as things started to progress we uh we decided this would be a beautiful spot for a fruit orchard and it'll be overlooking well our, our porch house on our house will be down this side yes so we'll be overlooking the fruit orchard which we hope will be beautiful yes. and and bountiful yeah, my, my vision is to have you know green grass in here with fruit trees in here that we like uh -huh. uh, i've talked about that y'all know we love figs uh plums is another one we like uh apple trees that grow in our area something pears. there pears is one of my favorite fruits so definitely pears persimmons is one so that's what we plan on planting in here with a nice green grass under it and i've also talked about 
the possibility of putting a couple of sheep over here to keep the grass cut but and that I, would be on down the road i was going to say that we may end up having to fence it in you know pretty yeah. quick because yeah. who knows what our you know deer and raccoons right. and things like that um at little cog our pyrenees did a good job of they, running off they did you know, and i think they'll continue to do that but it's a lot bigger area that they have to patrol so i agree whether they can keep everything at bay is yet to be uh, seen what i'm thinking about doing is is possibly in this area here or maybe even right here is build our kitchen garden or our potage oh, i know what you want me to say potage <laughs> potage i think that's right potage there you go i think you got it I did. Potage, Potage garden, but I think I may use this area for that. I think that's an excellent idea. And it, we could come right out the house, get what we want for the kitchen garden, and make it beautiful right here. And I, I just think that'd be perfect for it, or this area in general would be just be perfect for it. Right, I agree. I wanted to show them about the pond. Over here will be. This is your your mom's house over here and she's gonna have a side screened in porch coming off right here matter of fact it was flagged right there and this is gonna be our pond so your mom will be overlooking the pond that will come all the way up to about those trees flag, right yes, there yeah. yeah so uh yeah that's that's pretty exciting and of course uh you know mr Greg is gonna clean all this out and make it look beautiful in like a park area and it's going to be really really nice he um said that he will fix it to where we won't have to use a weed eater to cut the edges of yeah. the pond that we'll be able to use a bush hog and so that makes me feel like these banks are going to be really gradual i think and so gentle too. sloping mm -hmm. and i think my mom will be able to access the pond easily mm -hmm. so you want to show the back side of the property over where we want to build the barn yeah eventually? yeah yeah let's go over here where we want to build the barn all right we're on the back side of the animal paddocks and you can see mr moo man right there and the boys and i don't we really haven't shown this area that much no, we so really haven't shown it it's a good wide open flat space yeah that um is currently unused and it is on the back side of all the pastures it is and um i'd have to measure it but it's at least from this pasture to that pasture to the property line i'm guessing three acres at least three acres yeah it I may agree. be more than that but just eyeballing i'm guessing somewhere around three to four acres and this is where we would like to put moody all the time with you know some buddies of his and you can okay. see it goes on it actually goes further back than that that you see the overgrowth you know we can we got some more space that we can go back that way with it but we need to redo the fences on this yes. side they're just not ample to hold a livestock animal yeah and our dream which may become a reality one day is to possibly build a barn back here yeah i'm thinking kind of in this area right over here is where the barn would go and that would give us access to all the pastures um easy access to the house yes see the, house. the house would be is over there moo man's right here we can keep our equipment over there the yep. big o can go over there our implements moody uh, would have the ability to go in the barn if he so chooses. correct the goats could have a milking station I'd even have a kidding station for the girl goats too right so that is our dream is to build us a barn right there yes and still be able to access this area yeah. for animals and that's such, right but um we've store all... hay in it i mean it's yeah. going to be a barn barn right yeah rather than tools and right. things like that it would just be for animal purposes mary carl already has plans of putting incubators and using which would be perfect yeah it would be perfect perfect um we have big dreams as you see that's right but it's good to have dreams all right so we're fixing to take you guys on down and on around on the back side of the property and show you the barn the little lean-to shed area that we got now and the wooded area and the whole back side of the property and a lot of the property you have not seen whatsoever coming down the road on the back side to give you an idea how it's laid out that is our house site right there and we're coming up to the barn now over behind our house site is what we call our barn which you see right here this is where pinky lives also this is a little 
shed that was already here that is not in the greatest shape but we have been utilizing it big time and hopefully uh we may be able to salvage this i don't know for sure yet until you know we get the house built and start looking at things but this is the back side of the property here now we'll continue on down the road and show you more of the property on this other side over here which is really wooded it's beautiful over here all right a couple of videos ago or a couple of weeks ago me and mary carl went hiking in our woods here and there is a spring that turns into a creek that runs across our whole property in there and this area up front is really beautiful because it has these planted pines but past the planted pines is pretty thick of overgrowth and some invasive species like privet chinese privet is very very common here and it has really literally taken over that whole back area and we hope to get that all cleaned out and make it look like this area here that's just really really beautiful now as we come on down our road here all right right over here is more of the woods that go our whole property line right there and that's about 20 acres of woods there over here i'm standing where the pond's gonna go i don't know if you can see those red flags up there in the camera but the pond to go all the way up there and all the way up there right by the tiny house which is where brooks mom's living and there's our camper and there's our house site to give you guys an idea of where we are now but this area here we had mulched we had the mulcher come through he uh he got a lot of that privet out and a lot of that invasive undergrowth like you can see here there's a, a mimosa tree which is not native here which is very invasive here and this is privet kind of looks like a boxwood it's chinese privet and it's extremely invasive matter of fact you can see it all the way up through there and on up in that area there but yeah this will be the pond hopefully hopefully uh mr greg will get started on this either this month or next month are you excited about the pond yes what you gonna put in it ducks. fish ducks, ducks? swans yeah. what about alligator no, no? <laughs> <laughs> all right continuing on so we got a little cut through that comes through this wooded area here and now we're back on the front side of the cock hill 40 and if most of you know or been following this y'all know about this huge tree that we absolutely love that we put a swing in for mary carl this uh big what kind of oak is it baby red oak. big red oak has been southern kind of red southern red oak <laughs> has been a staple of our farm since we moved here we just absolutely love this tree now this is our big pasture area in the front half of our property. Uh, I have no idea how big this is, um, but it, it's pretty big. This is a uh, this is this is really big. This is where the bus will go. It, yeah, this is where we're gonna run the egg layers out in here in the chicken bus. You can see we left some trees. Yeah, we did leave some trees. Uh, we're probably gonna plant some more trees. We even talked about planting trees all along the fence row right in there But now we'll, dr we'll drive on around and show you guys that side and that pine thicket over there Okay, ready Alright, so we're on the other end, the opposite end of our farm. This is the total opposite of where the animal paddocks are at our place, which are way over there now. And this is actually uh, cows over here. This is a, a, a cattle pasture right there. And right here is a, a planted pine thicket, which is really, really beautiful. We really love this area. We love this area so much so this was our original spot that we kind of wanted to build our house was right in here but it's so far away from all the utilities and the already driveway that's already here the gates that were already here 
uh, it was just the barn. That's right. I think this would have been, wouldn't have been near the room we have at the uh, other house site. So we ended up going over there, then over here. But we did originally love this spot right here. Come here, Carl. Come look at this big mushroom. It's a, it's a puffer mushroom. Yeah, a big one. Look at it. <laughs> Where did it come out of? Everywhere. I'm gonna take y'all through this beautiful pine thicket right here. Wait, Carl, that's our Chickasaw plum tree. Yeah, it is. We have a ton of these trees right here, which is a blackjack oak. It looks like something on a Tim Burton movie. Pretty, aren't they? They are pretty. I've never seen them anywhere else. Yeah, I've never seen them either. This is the first time. Of course, our tree expert had to tell us what they were. Yeah. Got our arbor <laughs> expert with That's us. Right. When we first came to look at the property, this was the thing that stood out to me the most. Was all of these little pieces of lichen yeah. that are on the ground floor in various places. And I remember when we looked at it, I just thought that is the coolest thing. And it I still don't cool. know where it comes from. It is pretty cool, and it's only on certain areas. It's like in this area, really, really prevalent over here. You can really see it over here a good bit. But it's just little, it's almost like it's stuck in the ground. Yeah. You can pull it up, and it comes up with some debris. But it's crazy. It's just neat looking. Mm -hmm, it is neat looking. A little bit different. Kind of like the black jack oak. Kind of like the black jack oak. Just about back where we started from, and that is over here with our babies. <laughs> here comes the biggest baby of Cock Hill right here. By far the biggest baby. He's no the doubt. Biggest baby. And the newest baby. And the newest baby. <laughs> Who do you think is the happiest baby on the farm? Oh gosh. I know Moody's pretty happy. Moody? Do you win that? Moody's pretty happy. I will say Peaches. Peaches is pretty happy. Peach is pretty happy. And um, you know who else told me to call? The geese. Yeah. Aren't really the geese? Happy. I mean, the geese. Y'all, we don't ever hear the geese hardly. I mean, they do honk when they get, you know, get to going. But like all in all, we walk by. yeah, like when we walk by, um, they'll get to fussing at each other. But the geese, y'all, the geese have been super, super happy. Nugget said, don't forget about him. We know Nugget's been happy. And Mary Carl is uh, taking some awesome pictures today. She has been on it. And the girls are happy too. Yeah, the goats are really happy. I mean, they've got a, their area is probably eight to 10 times bigger than what it originally was. They, um, they really have enjoyed it. Even girls. though, even though it is turning, or the cooler months are here in the, Super green grass is about all gone, but they're still, they still go back there and graze a good bit. They do, and I see them back there, and I, you know, when they see me up here, of course, they come to visit, but I think to myself, I really do believe they're utilizing this whole entire space. They are. I think more than anybody, the girl goats probably wander the entire area versus the other animals. The ducks and geese kind of stay in, the front part. in this front part. Every now and then they go back there, but the ducks and geese, now Nugget, <laughs> Nugget will patrol the whole area. He, he does the whole thing. He does. Um, and but the, the chickens use the whole area. Yeah, the chickens use the whole area. I, was, I guess, don't, I don't count them. Guess who hard day? Y'all look. Uh oh, she heard you. Look her getting up. She didn't want me to see her sitting down. That's she? what it was. I wasn't what asleep. I wasn't asleep. <laughs> 
big head. You know what? Peaches, Peaches masseuse. <laughs> you know what Peaches masseuse did to her the other day? What? It pooped on her back. Oh no. Yeah. What did she have to say about that? I told her it looked like somebody put a just kick me sign on the back oh, of Oh no, Peachy. Yeah. Bootsy's gonna eat my jacket. Peachy says she's gonna lay back down. <laughs> you don't need to see me. I'm done. Just act like I'm not here, okay? I'm she done. Had, you know what she had to do? What? You know how we. Oh, you know people, what she did? When people sunbathe? I fixed to say she was in the shade and she moved herself into the sun. That's what she's doing. She's That's making exactly sure what she she's did. got all of her area covered. <laughs> she turned over. She don't want to be tan on one side. That's right. <laughs> I got you, Peaches. Oh, me. My gracious goodness. I think everybody's happy. Yeah. It looks like a feather pillow exploded Somebody out said we ought to get a blower and blow it. They wanted to see what it would look like. <laughs> I think I would have a mask on when I did that. They'd probably all come back on me. Oh, great. The ducks? I think the ducks would be even worse. Yeah, it The would. ducks and geese. It would. I wonder if it's always going to be like that. I don't... I. I think it's because they're molting. Mary Carl, is that why so many feathers, you think? Yeah, they're but molting. They're molting. It's just the time of year for Do them to be molting. Do you think during the summertime it won't be this way? She don't. Well. Sea brights are back over here. Them sea brights are quick, ain't they? They are really quick. He just told them to get out. She needed her whole sun. <laughs> Look at her big self over there. Laid out. Oh, Peach. Y'all, I'm glad y'all got to see the entire property and, and what our future plans are here and how we hope it'll look one day. Uh, it's going to take a little while, but we'll get there. And hopefully we'll be starting on the house this month. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if everything goes well, we'll be starting on the house this month.